Hey, hey for LA, I'm gonna bring a sled. And I'm gonna dress up as Santa. And I'm gonna put all my money in a big red bag. And I'm gonna be like, ho, ho, ho. Cheese, I'm gonna put like Crisco on it so his nose breaks out so it turns red. Okay, and then, then I'm gonna put sure. C's on the front. He's gonna mush the sled. I'm gonna be Santa in LA. And if you can't get into character, bro, like, y'all ain't really think I wasn't not gonna do this, right? Like, it ain't the sled, and I ain't got the reindeers, and C still ain't here, but I'm not wearing the boots. I got my little Gucci belt. God oh, damn, who they make this belt for, bro? Santa, Santa went on a diet. All right, I got my fit, I got my sled, and I got my bag. Let's get this picture for the gram one time. Where's my air horn? Where's my air horn? Dashing through the snow. Buenos dias, muchachos. Chilling, bro. I'll come check you when you set up in a little bit. Merry Christmas. Look at that. What's up, bro? You, sir. I am really proud of you. Yeah, because your videos have been killing it. Like, working. yeah, yeah you I respect it. it. You're, you're, you're at how many subs now? But your videos are getting like 30,000 views, right? Yeah, it's getting, last video got like 35k first He's been killing it. What's good, y'all? My name's uh, Matthew, also known as Ginger the Plug. Y'all can follow me on YouTube and Instagram. And um, I do my thing over here at SneakerCon all the time. Just like two days, that's it. So you do a lot of, so for, for my channel, people that don't know, you do a lot of like buying and then like you're just recapping the interactions, yeah, yeah, I do, right? I do a lot of buying and um, just really talking about what I'm paying, the deal I'm doing. Um, basically just doing what you're doing, but kind of like on a smaller scale. Like, uh, yeah, you're killing it. It's, you're not doing it small scale. You're killing it. Keep at it, bro. Thank I'm you. really proud of you. Appreciate you. Yeah, because you've only been at it for a little bit, right? Yeah, it's like four months into it. It's crazy. Santa don't have these. Santa like these. I'm pretty sure there's a young man with a long foot that can appreciate these for Christmas. So I'd like to buy some shoes from you guys, if that's OK. How you guys doing? Good. Where are you guys from? LA. Dope. LA. From Band LA? Glendale. Oh, Glendale. I thought you said you were from Banedla, LA. So yeah, this, what else is on the list? How much? How old are you? 15. 15. I remember I was I was telling uh, Alan one of the biggest shows that we did was here two years ago during that release. We were actually set up right here and we had to take the picture from past these beams. We were here till 11 o'clock Sunday night. $630,000 worth of shoes in Supreme that we picked up. And all that stuff, like we were paying like 3,000 for hoodies, now they're like 10 bands. We were paying like 5,000 for jackets, now they're like 20 bands. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy what it's turned into. And it's taking it off, baby. It's getting hot in here. This looks better anyway, don't it? Yeah? Hey, tell the camera what you told me earlier. About what? You said you have a picture of me. I got a picture of you. JC and Jesus, and every day I'm like, eh, I'm not quite sure which one I'm gonna go with today. <laughs> Crazy. Twenty. Oh man, you're so old, bro. At sixteen, I couldn't stop playing video games. I I really didn't give reselling any energy though. Um, what size are they? They're ten. You want waffles? Surprise, the blue ones. What do you look for? Um, we have like a very specific list. Um, we got a list that's compiled of the top 25 selling shoes like out what? of Las Vegas. Like um, what we have right now. Because yeah, yeah, pull it up. I got shattered backwards and a ton of obsidians. A ton of shattered backwards. But the ones obsidians. that are X's, the ones the sizes that we need. What size? He's got eight. We have a bunch of eights. Eight and a half. We need seven and below, and then. 12 and a half now. Yeah, he's only got 112. Got what about, obsidians. we got obsidians. I really appreciate you doing this. Yeah. This makes it a lot Last easier. Time I came to DC, I didn't have a nah, but. 
It's all good. Reselling, retail, all of it, you have to be as analytical as possible and make it as easy as possible for the consumer, right? Because you see it, it's in out. They're like 30, 30 bucks over us. You have them, uh, the nine and a half at 325. It's like 20, 20. So if you could do five bucks under that. So three for the nines, nine and a half. And then go back. And then the eight. Yeah, if you could do five bucks under that. So it's 10 bucks off of these three, okay. right? And then it's 20 bucks off of these. But I would buy one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight pairs. Okay. Uh... Think about it and come grab me. Okay. Do your math. I know you got to do math. Senor! Ho, ho, ho. What up, family? Feliz Navidad. Looking good, looking good. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. So, what's good, man? You know the story, bro. Do you guys drive or fly? No, fly. We definitely flew. Uh, from Orlando, it would have taken us three days. I see, I see it's expanding. It looks like the table's bigger. Huh? They, the, the, the bundle they give me is three tables. Now next year we gotta figure out how we scale it. Oh, I got my, I already got her. She got her own new machine. She's running. So you're her. the sweatshop. Look, there's the sweatshop. The sweatshop. No lie, she did 10 of these bracelets. So you're taking days off now? No, 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 no. Oh. What am I doing? How many hours? I handle the website, bro. You I, gotta. I gotta. I gotta. You, know, you gotta find another person to handle the website so you can go back to creating. You gotta delegate. If gotta, you don't I delegate, I just got the third one. Who, your wife? No, no, my little brother. Nice. So 2020 is full throttle. You know what I'm Great. 2020, I plan on going to every sneaker con, like not missing out on anything, bro. I don't want to leave a table, or a dollar on the table, like you would say. You can. Nah, you know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of times, like, to get to that point, what people miss is that, like, you're going to do a hundred shows, a thousand shows, you won't make a dollar the whole week. Yeah, by the way, shout out to American Eagle, man. They, they hooked up the big boys, bro. You know what I'm saying? I did this on purpose. A hundred dollar challenge. Forty. Then we're going to sell for thirty and thirty. A hundred dollars. You can't go wrong. How you been, brother? I love seeing this guy at every sneaker con in LA. Right? You still can sign a lot with me? Down a little, but yeah, we still do. Why, you making money somewhere else? Yeah, we're just like doing Air Maxes and shit. Red Force. Uh, they're all used. Yeah. Oh, they're all used? Yeah. You know, what else have you been moving? Cintrin? Nah, Cintrin's not, nah, right? Yeah, we just move like Brick Jordans, just like shit like that. Where you selling them? Go and stock Yeah. Good, keep at it, bro. I'll see you soon. Damn, Hollywood and a Rolex. And you're not even, what? You're not even 17 yet, right? 14 with a Rolex. 14 with a Rolex. I am doing this shit so wrong. 14 with a Rolex. His own money though. He's, that's with his own money from reselling. And he had that bracelet, it's like three grand. Black Reflectives, Concords, Vantas. Uh, Georgetown 11. What's up, guys? Buenos dias. How you doing? You good? How you guys been? Hey, DS? Everything's DS here. Everything is DS here. Wow, that's great. I got the sparkles here for you. <laughs> you can make a dollar and not like interfere with anything that you're doing you yeah. know what i mean like and at some point it like you hit a bottleneck that makes you say okay am i gonna do this full time or am i gonna leave this alone and that's where, where that's where you're at, at right now yeah. it's not the worst thing in the world no, traveling I mean, traveling all over like doing shows building relationships sightseeing if you could go like a day or two extra yeah, yeah. prior to yeah, but, 10, but it's a lot of work yeah, right and then you got to figure out do I want to be the guy that everybody knows or do I want to be the guy behind the scenes right. and do I want to open a brick and mortar or do I just want to do it online yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's not 
it's not for everybody, but I would tell you like, as long as you can do, the more you can do without any overhead, do that. That's it, exactly. So, do you can sign with us at all or no? Uh, I can sign mostly at Flight Club. Okay. And, uh, but, I mean, what do you What do you like about the Flight Club consignment setup that's had you there? It's just local and they push your inventory really quickly for us. Um, and I obviously I use, I use Goat, you know, that's a big thing, uh, sneaker groups. But uh, actually, me and my buddy and my fiance, what we're trying to do is trying to do like a local meetup. We started a, a monthly meetup called Kick and Drip. But we actually, we were to like cars and coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of Same. the on that. So it's like, Dope. we try to meet up Keep at it. No, try yeah. to get, Keep like, at it. Do a mini, mini sneaker con. So that's kind of like, right. we're kind of pushing as a passion on the side. But this Keep is, at it, bro. This is like the, the side. I'll probably go get more shoes if I buy all these shoes, right? Yeah, I'm, I probably have to come back tomorrow. Mamas! 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 Ah! What is that? It's my Santa outfit. Shipping and handling, man. 53, yeah, come on. 53.90. 53. 53.80? I mean, that's $10 more than, $10 less than what I said, but sure. I feel like uh, Danny DeVito vibes all of a sudden. Chill bro. Vantas? That's crazy, bro. That's really dope. Thank you, man. Stop Bluetooth, everything. I'll get the box for you. Make some money, man. My name's Matt. JC, nice to nice meet, meet you. How you been, bro? How are you? Chillin', chillin'. How are you? What's up, guys? How much How much are the waves, though? Um, what size are they? Santa needs some eggnog. Krang! Krang? <laughs> I'm not used to not seeing you pregnant. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> like every five minutes, it's another child. What size? 13. How much? 320. Okay. You have 17 pairs of 220. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 320. There's a. Uh, there's a 15 for 300, and this size 11 is 320. 300 and 320? Yes, sir. There's a size 8 and a size 12. They're both 380 ds What year is that one? 2010 or 11, one of those. What's uh, eight? What? Eight and a 12. A 12 is like at about 450 or something, but 380 for each. Eight and a 12. That's not DS. Uh, that's 280. I think there's just one size 12. 280 for these two. There's a 12 and a half and 13. Um, 13 and 12, they're 280. This is a new one, right? Yeah. There's an eight and a nine and a half. And I'm a little high on those, those are 310. Uh, eight and a half and 12, and they're three. And what do you got these with? I just got one. Okay. Uh, that one's high, that's 420. The rest of them are lower. That's a Vanta, right? Yeah, that's a Vanta. Well, what size is it? Nine. Oh, you said four? 420. That's fine. Um, 
Yo, you know, I gotta, I, I gotta appreciate the fact that you have it memorized. Man, I've been going to tables trying to buy, and I'm sitting here for an hour, and they have a freaking list, and I just walk off. I just yeah, I can't because right? I'm missing deals. This yeah. kid is trailing me, getting all the deals, and I can't because they got lists. There's nothing in their head. I really appreciate you got this memorized, bro. That is an art in itself. Seven and a twelve, and you're at four twenty. Uh, seven and thirteen. I'm sorry. Seven and thirteen. And you do like four. Let's go. I got an air horn now. I mean, scare horn. Today's goal is to make at least one person be so scared from this horn that they fall on the ground. You think? You think I can pull it off? Let's find out. Hey! <laughs> What's up? What size are the shatters? Two five and a half. I'll take a four and a half to five and a half. Do you have a price on these? Uh, these no. So, how I, how I get my pricing from StockX Gold's ass and it's 15 to 10 dollars or less. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll tell you what we can do on it, and if you guys are cool with it, I'll give you a cash. All right, cool. Sounds good. Four and a half, five and a half. Yeah. I guess you the full price. Five and a half. Yeah, five and a half. Yeah. I'll probably pass on the ten and a half, right. but I could probably do for the eight and a half, and for the eight and the nine and a half, I'll probably do one sixty. Yeah. Nine and a half, I do like 155 max. Right. That yeah, can that's make fine. some money on it. Yeah, that's fine. And then the eight and a half, 160. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Four and a half and five and a half, right? Yeah, he wants all of them. Yeah, give me the five. Yeah, I have all of them. Two, three, four, five, six. So, 420 each. 420 each? Yeah. For a 10 and 10 and a half? Yeah. Uh, at the 10, I'd be at like 410, and then the 10 and a half, 4. Uh, I can do the, the 10 for 4. You want to do a 10 for 4? Yeah. But the 10 and a half, you're firm at 420? Yeah. You can't do uh, just 410 on it? Uh, 10 bucks? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's do it. So, 4 and 410. Which one? Three burners? Yeah. So that pair right there was a cactus plant flea market friends and family pair. There's really no difference besides the retail pair and the friends and family one. But besides, obviously you guys saw that it lit up on the bottom. Uh, his pair was busted once she wasn't working, but it's just a super rare shoe. Super rare. What's up, Brody? What's going on, Kevin? The nicest cameraman in the whole wide world. <laughs> Uh, how much do you want on the 11? Are you firm on that price or? A little room. 360. 360. Can you do 340? Uh, yeah, if you take both. I just take the 11. Uh, yeah, I do that. That's ten and a half. That's hot. And then the other. How much did you want on the Wave Runner? They're both eleven. Three fifty for you, Jay. Three fifty both. Three fifty each. Size eleven, you needed, right? Yeah. Size it should 11. be on there. What size are the GSs? Are they four and a half, five and a half? All right, so write your first and last name, email, phone number, and a sign at the bottom. Okay. Exact same way like last time.
guys 15. I think he wants to race. Maybe he'll lose. I thought he was trying to race the way he was creeping up. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where to go inside. I was actually going to hope to get a picture with you later. Thank you. <laughs> Shipping out all the stuff. I sell about 300 pairs a week, so it's just a big hassle. My biggest challenge is selling black reflectives because no one wants to pay $1,000 for shoes. The biggest challenge growing is uh, it gets harder and harder to cop sneakers now uh, with bots and everyone camping out. It's just the competition is fierce. There is a ton of work that is involved into all of this from the people who even set it up to the individual at the end of the day. Finding all of the time on top of working a full-time job is extremely difficult. I mean, yeah, getting scammed, fakes, people trying, people stealing. Fake people, people you put a lot of trust into and then they always just end up 
they turn it. around on you. My crazy story is getting 62 pairs of Trophy Room 5s for retail and I sold them all like within a week for $400 each and now they're at like two to three thousand. Could have been, could have had a couple hundred K. So we bought, well at least for me, and a little bit of with the Black Reflective, we, had, we experienced a lot of problems with those because I think I bought five or six pairs. I got them legit checked and everything. I trusted myself, but they all ended up just being fake. And I had to struggle for months to get back my refunds. And, that and was still just, on some of them, we can't get the We refunds. can't even get our refunds back. I'm still down like $2,000. Yeah, and for me, my like most my most recent struggle was I held about 30 pairs of these and I bought them for around 380 each and they ended up restocking when they were projected to go up and the price just tanked on them so I lost a couple thousand dollars on them. Hey, I'm Roque Morales from Monterrey, Mexico. I have a channel on YouTube called Royal Team TV and an event of sneakers called Dejando Huella. El par que traigo puesto es un par diseñado por Esim. Él es un diseñador de Colombia, un diseñador colombiano. Hizo este par, hizo solo 35 pares para la gente que fue al Dejando Huella en Ciudad de México. How much you pay for the shoe? How much you sold the shoe for? One thirty, and I sold it for four fifty. You said two fifty on it. Four twenty five. Are you firm on that? No. Could you do like uh? Could you do three fifty on it? I know it's really low, but yeah. There's a Frenzy discount, bro. Oh really? That's all you gotta mention is code Frenzy at <laughs> checkout. Let's go. Frenzy discounts. Thank you. Looks like we're buying some food. New pop up, Mac Park, follow their IGs, the podcast. Yeah. One day maybe I can get on there with you. Absolutely. Maybe one day I can have the stamina to play with belly buckets on the court. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, we'll, we'll get some mitts too. It's been, Box yeah. it up. I don't know. 23 grand. 85 shoes. 85 pair Yeezys. 85, 700. Smack my camera with that money. <laughs>
Don't let him wear those shoes. Don't let him wear those shoes. Wait till they go over a thousand, then sell them. Okay, cool. Don't let him sell them. Don't let them wear them. Take them from him. For real, bro. They're gonna go up. So, day one, on the wrap, first sneaker con where I have been this sick. Like, sick. I came in here with a duffel bag of literally like Delsum. I had the little Zycam nose things. I had uh, the Zycam gummies, like cold gummies. I had Delsum cough syrup to try to get through the day. I was rocking the Santa suit. It was tough. I sweated a lot. It was just, this one was tough, like from a physical standpoint. But I had a lot of fun. I know some of you guys comment sections are about to be like, hey, this is not a job. But coming in at 7.30 in the morning, it is 7 p.m. at night. We bought 442 pairs that are being put into the system. It's been over 50, 50K, um, which is a little bit on the lower as far as dollar amount, but we bought a lot of like lower tiered stuff, like a lot of stuff in retail. I want to say thank you to everybody that that came to the table, had kind words to say. Uh, today, today was a tough day, but you guys made it a lot easier. I want to say thank you guys for watching this long video. Uh, but keep rocking with me. We got one more day in LA, and then I go to Vegas for less than a day, back to New York for three days, and then I'm going to China to hit two or three different cities. Billy was here. She was a rock star all day. You guys see Billy? Shout out to these guys for being all stars today. Dia numero dos, y estoy aquí con mi amiguito Tobillo. Nah, anyways, me and Ankles. Ankles, what you think of day one? It's a good day. Yeah? Good day. It's why, you know, some people out here waxing a little too hard, but, you know, I think you need to be especially hard today. How you guys make it very possible. We gotta go out there and buy some shoes. It's 8 15. So, four hours before the show opens, let's see if we can spend 100 grand in four hours. I'm gonna ski. I'm not even gonna have to show up. I'm just gonna be like, all right, you come with Kevin, y'all do the YouTube channel, you buy the shoes, you do the YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna take a Sunday off, man. Maybe I can play some 2K. You know, I used to be dumb nice on 2K, bro. I wanna get back on a play. I, I got PlayStation, I ain't even turned it on so long, bro. The other day I tried to turn it on, that thing said, nah, bro, I'm, I'm retired. What size do you want to see? You want to see the nine, man. Is that 280 on that one, right? And what do we say on the size 12? Uh, it was 10, 10 total. He's writing it down too. I don't gotta do that. Go to 11. Same. Same. 290 on this one too. Bro. Boom. He, he let me win, you let him win, man. He, you want both of those two? Yeah, yeah, why not? Is it two turbos? Two turbos, yeah. Two turbos, yeah. Like, what do you think's been the biggest hardship since you started reselling to right now? Uh, for me personally, is to get my family on board. You know, growing up in a foreign family, they want you to become doctors, engineers, and all that. 
So like, I didn't stupid, right? Exactly. Buying shoes. And I didn't grow up in like a family where my dad was like, "Here's a 500 bucks, go get a pair." Either you get Converse and Vans, you rock them for the year. And like, other than that, I got five siblings, you know. So my my dad's the only working one. He immigrated here, so he's like, you know, you got to find a way to make money for yourself. I can't help you. So like, you know, a pair of Aqua Eights turned into this, you know. So it's crazy how far. So I you came. started with Aqua Eights. My first ever pair of Aqua Eights, and they were crazy. soul separating and everything. I glued them, bro. I watched the. Uh, Watch this uh, restoration video and started from there. So what was the first like business move that you did that showed your parents, okay, maybe we should like back off so and let him do his thing? I needed a car and my parents were like, dude, you gotta get a job. Like this shoe stuff's not gonna get you a car. So I started, uh, it was a winter break and I started just reselling every day. I did not sleep, bro. I'd be what on- What shoe you start with? Uh, the Aqua is when I started, yeah. Uh, so I would be on uh, Facebook, OfferUp, every local, anything deal I could find, and just buy it, you know? So what I did was, the most important thing I think I did was build connections, you know? I'd make 20, 30 bucks, but those people would be constant with their flow, you know what I mean? Which goes farther for me, you know? I'd rather make, you know, $100,000 with you than just one deal worth $10,000, you know? That's more important to me. So with that, you know, I did reselling, I put a down payment on a car and started paying monthly to them, you know, to help me. And they're what like, type of car did you get? I got a Honda Accord, you know. So. Oh, reliable, exactly. you can't go exactly. wrong with an Accord. Exactly. So, Yo, I'll tell you a funny, not to cut you off, but I'll tell you a funny story. The first car I ever got was a 1985 Honda Accord. Yeah. It had 187,000 miles on it when my mother bought it for me, right? I came back from Puerto Rico. She's like, yo, Jay, I bought you this car. I paid 250 bucks for it, right? And I'm like, yeah. damn. And I go in there, and this is at a time where like AC was a privilege yeah, in the yeah, car. Yeah. So when I cut the AC on, I'm like, damn, let me see if the AC works, right? Yeah. The first time I cut the AC on, if the car sounded like it had a cold, it coughed. It was like, <laughs> right? <laughs> leaves, dry leaves came out, right? I was thinking, damn, man. Then, uh, it had it had a tape deck in it because i'm old yeah, man you're too crazy so i had a tape deck right and i'm like yeah. oh man this is cool and the same thing man the radio like just it, it was horrible bro like the radio wasn't that loud and i was like i gotta wash it and i had we used to have a pressure washer and i was in that like i need to pressure wash everything the house the streets the grass everything like and I pressure washed the engine and I ain't know that like when you pressure wash the engine, you gotta like turn the car on. So I flooded it and I got on the freeway after and I'm like foot through the floorboard, but I'm only doing like 20 miles an hour. I was so embarrassed cause so many people honking the horn. I sold the car for 50 bucks. I sold the car for 50 bucks a couple days later, right? And the guy that I sold the car to he had it for like 10 years after that. He was like, yo, Jay, that's the best $50 I ever spent. That's a crazy story. <laughs> Felt like an idiot bro, 10 bad. years later. What are the prices on those? The Concords, I'm probably going to be like a 280, 290, they size 10.5. Uh, these are the Gamma 3 no PS, I got 11. I got the Captain Gowns, Legend Blues. Yeah. Huh? Which one? Yeah. Like 280 is cool. 280 is cool on the cord. I got both uh, 13s too. I got a lot of desktop stuff I brought with me. Dark cord 11. So what's the most amount of money you made in a year? Like sales? Uh, to be honest, most of my biggest year to date so far. Where you at so far? Uh, probably like 80, 80,000. 80,000 in sales. Yeah. You think you've made 20%? For sure, bro. The market in Seattle is crazy. What people don't realize is, bro, I, I always have paid under StockX payout on every DSU I get there because there's no stores out there that are really doing it. So if you have money out there, you know, you're going to be the biggest, <coughs> biggest, like, pe person, these, the collection people are coming with. Most of these are 11 because I got them off a of collector, bro. So I, I, mean, I went over to their house. It was a $60,000 StockX collection. You know, they showed me every receipt. That's why a lot of them got StockX tags like this. And uh, they they spent 60,000, sold it to me for 15,000. The biggest move I've ever made, bro. Biggest move I've ever made. And then I invested that money and came here. Let's make it a habit, bro, to see you at every sneaker con domestically. What do you want to do on these? Uh, what is they at? They're at three, 290? Yeah, I got you. You want me to bring out more DS stuff? It's on the back. I mean, bro, I, 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 
You want me to bring out more money? Is that what you're asking me? Of course it's more money. Yeah, I love hearing shit like that, bro. That does not get old. To hear like it's there's no wrong way to get to the finish line. You don't have a price on me, but you said 400? Around You wanna do 390? You need me at four. 395? Meet me at 395? All right, I'll meet you. See, this is the benefit of the early bird gets the worm, right? For the vendor that was like, you know what, I'm gonna get up early on a Sunday. He probably got up, what, five, six in the morning? I'm not gonna lie, bro, my alarm didn't go off seven. So you, seven. Got, it, you got here one oh, time? Oh, yeah, Eight? I got here like seven, 7.30ish, bro. Damn, you're fast, yeah. bro. You showered, brushed your teeth, Everything, ate, and bro. came down and brought boxes. I That's had breakfast yet, bro. It starts slow, man. It's 3.30, uh, so last sale was 2.94, and this it is 3.04. Okay, what do you Let's want to do? Let's uh, do 2.95. Okay. Retail plus tax works for me. Like 180, 170s retail. That works for me. Good. What do you, what do you, where are you at with the cop and go? Uh, let me see. They have a tag, my bad. They all have tags. Yeah, don't have tags, bro. Uh, my Instagram's at 206 resale right now. I just need to understand the process, you know, to get into it because I moved, like, like I said, bro, now that I'm like at a better place, you know, I have more, I can be able to well, buy you more Well, you should you always know? do as much as you can with this little overhead as you can. Course. If you got homies that you can just throw a couple yeah. bucks to to help you out, yeah, like, exactly, you gotta do exactly. that. You know, this one doesn't have a tag, though. They don't? Like, as far as price. Uh, what are they at? Uh, last sale was 340, listed as 335. So, what do you mean by 320? 320. Mike. What keeps me motivated? Yeah. Um, a lot of shit, man. You know, obviously my kid. Um, the fear of fucking up. Yeah. That one keeps me like going. I don't want to fuck up, you know. And uh, like people paying attention to what I'm doing, and I understand that there's a lot of people that have hardships way tougher than what I've had that are just looking at the content that I'm putting out. And I just, I don't want to let people down, man. You know what I mean? Like, right now, it's not my time to take off. Social media, retail, the way that it's set up, like, it's really easy to gain people's attention, but it's easier to lose it, right? And like, nothing is forever. And I got to do as much as I can while my I'm physically able to. Uh, I don't think I could keep this energy up forever. Um, but I hope that I could do enough that when I have to slow down, like that the brand is healthy enough to go on without me. Thank you, bro. Yeah, of course, appreciate it. I hope to see you going forward at these shows. Like you said, you've been in Vancouver, Bay Area. Like, keep, I mean, you're doing what, 10 shows a year domestically now? I want to make it a habit to come out to all of them, you know? Ten shows, bro. Yeah, sure. Ten shows, do that for a couple of years. Yeah. 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 Appreciate, Appreciate you guys, man. Right. I wish you the best going yeah. forward. Yeah, we're staying high. All right, all right for some... Does that come in sizes or is it like one fits all? One size fits all. One size fits all. You got a picture booth, you know. Eric looks like he's getting shorter, huh? Yeah. He's getting a little grunt. Look at that. Pick and roll kicks. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Long. Big, big bear. What's up, dude? 12? 12. Yeah, what's up, dude? No, I got no 10 in that position. And then this tells you the battery level. 
This is the unicorn of truth. The autograph Babe Ruth rookie card for the Seeker Pro. Yeah. So, I got a new shoe for myself. Billy paid for it. With her looks. Billy paid for it with her looks. Look at Joni's look. Look at Joni's look. Size 11. <laughs> this is like the brick of the brick. It's like, yo, let me, wow. bring you, let me bring you the heaviest brick I have. In Necessities raffle this time for a pair of Jordan, Travis Scott, Juan Lowe's. Can I get one volunteer please to come pull a raffle ticket? Everybody, please come up, come. You, you have had the most amount of energy with us today. Fans have been to me like 50 times today. I appreciate it, bro. Keep that energy. Because by the time you get a bite, you're pretty still have it. All right, so you're gonna um, stick your hand in here, spin around, spin around, look at me, don't look at the tickets, and pick the one that you think is right. Let it be from the bottom, middle, side. Let it come to you, bro. Is that the one? That's the one? All right, hold this. Hold that, give me this. All right, guys, everybody raise your hands if you got a ticket for this raffle. And as we're going, keep your hands up if the numbers are on there, right? Eight, one, seven, Alright, we still got something. Nine. Nine. Why are you looking at me all crazy, bro? I didn't make you do anything. Six. Okay, are there any hands still up? There's not a single hand still up. Four. Nine, nine, six, four. Did this person really go home and not win Travis Scott Lowe's? Wow, 9964 going once, going twice. I hope you watch this video and realize you should have stayed. Come pick one. Spin, 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 spin. Don't just pick the first one, just get, put your hand. Okay, just pick, okay, we're picking the top one. Hold this. My two wonderful assistants. All right, let's try this again. Everybody raise their hand. Eight, one, seven. Ah, come on, bro. Nine. Six. Five. Three. Nine, six, five, three. You know how you be telling people, like, stay to the end of the show because it'd be fun, and this could have been you, and I pray that you were watching so you realize that you should have stayed. There's assistant number three. Spin, spin, spin. Don't just grab the first one. Have fun in there. Just like pick the ones. Don't let them drop. Please don't let them drop. All right, grab one. 
All right, this this has got to be it, right? Y'all y'all feel it? Eight, one, seven, Spin around, don't let them, like, look, look, like this. Spin, 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 like this. <laughs> got it, too. Pick one. Por favor, please let this be the one. Eight, one, eight. What? Zero, zero, zero. No! Oh, 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 oh my God. Zero, 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 four, you got it. Stick around, stick around, because if this isn't this young man's size, we're gonna auction it off right here. Let me see if this I'll is throwing this on the ground like like a uh, but Come here, bro. Let me see the number. Is that the number? All right. It is the number. You're a 12. So we have a problem here because this is the size of the. Oh, now you're an 11. Now you're an 11. You're gonna squeeze it. Do you want to sell them? Because keeping him. You want to keep them? Because look, there's a whole bunch of people. Who's trying to do auction? Would you guys be willing to pay? Just go for like 600 bucks. Five, six hundred bucks. You got big time. You guys have seen the videos? Huh? Look, look you down to pay four hundred. Anybody want to pay four hundred? Anybody want to pay more than four hundred? It's like a six hundred dollar shoe, bro. Four ten. We're at four ten. At least try it, bro. It's an offer. You can say yes. You can say no. How much? Four fifty. We're at four fifty. Does anybody want to pay four fifty? Look, 500, 500, that's pretty fair. That's fair. You look like you want to offer. You look at it. We're at 500, it's a size 11 Travis Scott. Let's look at it on the screen. How much? 525. That's payout, that's payout. That's stock X payout. 525, how much would you put in the raffle? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. So this man's gonna make five hundred dollars. Five thirty. Bro, this is good. This is good. This is. I don't even get paid like that. Come on, bro. Five thirty. Anybody? Five thirty-five. Five forty. Five thirty-five. Five forty. Five forty. Five forty. You gotta take. Five forty. That's twenty dollars over StockX payout, bro. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. 550! 550, bro! Damn, this dude, this is crazy! Huh? 550! 560! Bro! Come on! Stop being greedy! Come on, you're 25! 560! Somebody throwing a bit back behind me, don't they? 565, bro! 575! Oh my god, though. Five to how much? 600. 600, anybody want to be 600? Going once. I'm flaking. Going twice. So, the no. guy right here with the tiny little blue jacket right here, 600? Yeah. Senor, catching a lot of flack these last couple days, but no. Hey, look, you're going to have to pay him time. Can I get a picture? Use this microphone, the screen, the lights, you can pull up cameras. So, um, do I get a cut back? Huh? Do I get a cut back? You get a cut back? Okay. Well, Shout out to Chow for being one of the biggest ball busters in the world. Real quick, the young man that, that, that bought him owns a shop in Vegas. What's the name of that shop? Uh, Soul Action. And what's the Instagram? Soul Action LV. S-O-L-E-C-T-I-O-N-L-V. Yo, so I've known this man for a, for a while, like four or five years now, right? Uh, zebra already. The first Zebra. See, first Zebra release. And I have watched him go from 
selling off a kitchen table, to opening the store, to periodically going to sneaker cons, to all of a sudden traveling all over the world, to getting on Hollywood with MCM bags and satin suits and hair all off. I'm really proud of this guy. Give this guy a follow because he's one of the good guys in the community. For real. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Right. Can you buy me a Big Mac or something? I ain't made all day. Also, can I have those at Urban now? You can consign those at Urban. Okay. Deal. Help. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Kyle. Really appreciate it. Who wants a sweater? All right. So, my, who, who deserves a sweater, bro? How do I? Mature laboratory sweater. Oh, it's a mature sweater. This is crazy. I don't even want to throw this in the car. This is, this is my son, but you know what? Hi right, guys, check this out, please. Um, I really don't want to throw this in the car because I don't want it to cause a frenzy. So, I need you to do me a favor. We're going to play 1 to 100 is number, right? Whisper number eight. No, you're too high. 1 to 100. <laughs> Any number, first number that comes in right no, one to one hundred. <laughs> She's over here like every number over a hundred. <laughs> Alright, she gave me a number. Let me get a guess. We're gonna make this fair. 81. No. 82. No, no. 15. No, 23. No. No. 15. No. 30. No. 33. No. 16. No. 10. No. 16. Yeah. No. 75. No. 12. No. 94. No. 17. 30. No. 38. No. Huh? No. 74. No. 81. No. This is crazy. What? What? She said the number. It was 100. Yeah. Oh. Come on down. She was, I was like, you can't go 100. She was like, 1100. <laughs> 1 to 100. 110. I'm like, yo. Guys, again, thank you for hanging out with us this weekend. From the Sneaker Cop family, from the Urban Necessities family, we had a lot of fun. You guys make this possible. Keep spreading the word about this community, man. This was beautiful. The entire weekend. Money being traded, hand to hand, people building, building relationships. This was beautiful, man. Thank y'all, for real. Bro, we out. Here's the deal. My camera guy's gotta go catch a flight. It's gonna take him almost two hours to get to the airport because he decided to fly out of LAX and not down the street. Right? We bought a whole bunch of shoes. There's still a line. I got a little bit of money. You saw a crazy raffle and auction, which was really dope. Shout out to everybody that came down, said positive words, supported, like helped me through all that nonsense you saw this weekend. But I go home for less than an hour, for, for less than five hours. Then I jump on a plane, go to New York, three days, come home for a day, then go to China. You're next, sneak a con. Gonna end it on a crazy note. Take care, guys. How much did you spend on the raffle? Five dollars. He only had one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah. It's not monster. My body's rejecting it. The internet, because y'all be trying to bully me, I had to get somebody to stand here so you don't bully me. That's it, no more bullying. It's no done. more bullying, it's, it's done. done. I got a big guy in the video now. Like Security's we're on deck. Security on deck, and he's like, grab you right through the lens. Panel today, no, 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 no more Virginia eating back, He's on the panel today, yeah. man. He's he looking look tired. I, I need the low credit score. <laughs> no, this one's I want the Hayden that used to come with his, his dad and just, yo, he was the good southern boy, real cool, laid back. Now look at him, he got a fade. He, yeah, he yo, got fades now. Yo, fades, he looking a little stocky. <laughs>
Like the he, yo, he asked me, yo, hey, well, you want to go for that? I was like, more pizza. He was like, I don't know. More injured I don't do pizza no more. Like, yeah. I you was like, damn, yo. Yeah. He changed, bro. <laughs> I drive to Boston. I drive to Boston, we ate dollar menu. Look at that. And now I can't even get him to go into a fast food restaurant with me. Bro. <laughs> you changed like, it, Hayden. Nah, bro, that's trash. <laughs> Change. Designer bags holding money. So, vintage Supreme. What? What? Yo, he never be, be rocking like that. Get, I want Ultra Boost Hayden back, bro.